Hello, thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this particular training, I want to talk to you about how you can trigger an SMS or text message based off of the disposition or button you click on during a dial session. So let's say, for example, I'm calling through my contact list and I want to trigger a specific text message to go out when I come across a contact who is interested in my product, service, or opportunity. Now, as you probably already know, within the phone burner system, you can create as many custom dispositions as you want. And these dispositions can do a lot of things, such as triggering an email, moving a contact into a different folder within the system to help you better organize your contacts. But on this particular training, I'm gonna show you how you can assign a specific text message to go out to the contact based off the button that you click during the dial session. So let's go ahead and end our dial session that we're in right now. And from within your phone burner account, we're gonna click on the settings menu in the upper right hand corner. We're gonna go down to dial session settings. From the dial session settings page, we're gonna to go to the SMS library. In the SMS library is where you go to create text messages that you can assign to dispositions. So we're gonna click on the add SMS message. And of course, you have to agree to follow our terms of service before you can actually start adding messages to your SMS library. So I'm gonna go ahead and agree to that. That will activate it so I can now start creating text messages. So the first thing I need to do is give it a name. Let's say this text message is gonna go out to all of my interested contacts. So I'll eventually assign this to my interested button. Then I can give it a description. And then finally, I can actually start creating the message that will be assigned to the button. So this is the actual SMS message that will be sent. Now that I've typed in my message, I could go ahead and save changes. But before we do that, let's talk about the message that I just created here. First and foremost, I said, hey, John. Now, not all of my contacts are gonna be named John. We can actually use merge codes to help us personalize these messages as they're sent. So I'm gonna go ahead and highlight John, delete that, and then you see this merge codes menu right here. I'm gonna click on that and choose recipient's first name. That'll take the first name of the contact that I'm calling when I click this disposition and automatically insert it into the text message. Now it's important to note when you're using merge codes, the system cannot accurately tell you how long this specific message is because some contacts may have short names and some may have long names and depending on what data you're merging in is also gonna determine how much data or how many characters are taken up by that specific data point that's being inserted into the text message. So the system by default will automatically assign 28 characters to any merge code. In some cases that's gonna be short, in some cases that might be long, but that's what the system does to try to give you some sort of an idea of what that might represent when it's actually sent. Now another thing I wanna point out in this text message or SMS, not only do we have merge codes for the recipient, the person who's receiving the text message, but also merge codes for the sender. This can come in really handy if you wanna include your name or if you're part of a team and you're gonna be creating SMS or text messages that you're gonna share with your organization, you can ensure that those text messages or SMSs go out with the name, phone number, or email address of the person who's actually sending it. So let me show you how that might look. So if I were to actually type in a specific phone number that number would be the same for everybody who sends or triggers this text message. But what if I wanted to make sure that it was specific to the agent who sent it? So I go in here to the sender's information and I choose sender's phone. And now the text message that goes out would be, hey, John, Mary, Sally, whoever we're calling at the time we click the disposition that would send this. Here are the details. To get set up today, visit phoneburner.biz. If you have questions, give me a call. And then it'll insert the phone number from the email sending profile of the agent that triggered this text message. So now I'm gonna go ahead and save this. That will add this SMS message to my SMS library. If I want this to be used or available to everyone on my team, I can share it. 
Now everyone would have access to it. And in order to assign this to a disposition, I need to go into my disposition settings. I need to edit the live answer set in this particular case and edit the interested button. When I edit the interested button, I'll see the option to assign the interested SMS message to that button. Then all I need to do is hit save changes. And now going forward, every time me or one of my agents clicks the they are interested button, the system will automatically trigger that SMS message. Let me show you how that works. Let's click on contacts. Let's go ahead and initiate a dial session to one of our contact records. So let's say I'm calling Christopher Miller. He answers the phone. We have a great conversation with him. We end our call. I update my notes and then I click they are interested. That'll move me on to the next call, but the system would have sent a text message to that specific contact. Let's go ahead and open up Christopher Miller's details. Go to his SMS tab. And here you'll see the text message that was actually sent to Christopher Miller. And that's how easy it is for you to create a text message that you can assign to a disposition and have it automatically triggered every time you click that specific disposition. Thanks for taking a moment to watch this video and happy dialing.